So I'm just going to plug in the kit that I have here, which is the Mega 3 to 4 PD Explain Pro. And notice how MPLAB X recognizes these kits. Also note that there's an extension plugged in and I can also see the details here. So if I click on the kit homepage link, we come through to the Mega 3 to 4 Explain Pro homepage, a link to buy the kit. And here you can see uh, design documentation. Inside this you'll find Gerbers and all the full design documents, um, but you'll also find kit schematic. Okay, so creating a new project, um, standalone project uh, for studio users. This is like a GCC C executable project. And now you will notice that there is an 8-bit AVR MCUs. And what I'm going to choose is the 3 to 4 PB to get going. Using the Atmel ICE, as you can see my hardware setup, the GCC toolchain, currently the same as the one from my Studio 7 installation, and uh, let's call this LED 3. So, finishing. And our project is created and it is set as the main project. In that last dialogue, there was a, a checkbox where um, which was set up and that was that you set this as the main project. So the difference from Studio here is that there are no source files by default. But if I right click and say new main.c, just call it main, I have the standard uh, AVR template and here we have avrio.h and I can navigate and go to the declaration or definition and here I can see the, um, the header file of the device. So I'm going to write one line of code, turn on the LED on this kit, um, this one which is currently flashing. So opening the kit schematic. And here I can see that there's a user button and a user LED. So the user LED PC7 is what I'm wanting to set and I can see that I need to set this low to turn the LED on. So first of all that means I need to set this pin as an output and set it as low. So let's just navigate quickly to the data sheet of the device. And if I go to IO ports, here we get an overview some description block diagrams configuring a pin and here the ddxn selects the direction if it's written to one it's an output so that's what we need to do set ddxn to one for port c and then the other thing to note is if the port is written to logic zero when it's configured as an output the pin is driven low so that's exactly what we want to do if we scroll on we can see a code example, first in assembly and then in C. And here you can see setting up dotted direction register, DDRB, and then the port. So this is the pattern that I'm going to use. And for me, it is DDR. And then I can control space and it will complete for me. So I've got the options. So DDRC, and that's what I'm writing to. And it's one and DDRC, control space, seven is the one that I wanted. Now, we should need to set the port register as well, port B, but let's just have a look at the pin description of port C. This is the data register, and note that the reset values are set zero, so uh, as soon as we set it as an output, it'll be um, default low and we'll be able to turn on our LED. So this single line of code is all we really need to do. Now we should be able to click debug main project. It builds, it launches. And we can see our LED is on. We can also just reset the device and we can uh, step and here turn on our LED. And there we go, we've written our first line of AVR code.